Hi, this is Matt Marchant, and this video is for those who have taken the class Flatten Your Stomach. And what I would like to go through in this video is just to go through the basics of what the core is. So if you remember from class and remember from the handout, there are five muscles that make up your core. The muscle on the top of this kind of canister that we're talking about. So uh, before we go into the five muscles, again, think of the core as kind of this canister this rectangle canister, uh, a three-dimensional canister that has uh, every side is being represented here. So on the top of the canister, way up in here, is the diaphragm. That's one. The front part right here is called the transverse abdominis. We're going to abbreviate TVA. The bottom, pelvic floor, um, we're going to abbreviate it here, uh, pelvic floor muscles, PFM. You have along the sides here, your internal obliques, IO, and then the back part is your multifidus, we'll abbreviate it as MT. So keep in mind that there's only three muscles that we're really conscious about and we have conscious control, the diaphragm in blue, the TVA in green, and the pelvic floor in red. The black ones here, we don't need to worry too much about. Uh, the only time we really need to worry about this is when the other three are not doing their job, the multifidus, the muscle of the back, gets overworked. So again, think of these five muscles like a basketball team. If you want to do well in the game, all five players need to be on the court, they all need to be playing well. So if you're about to pick up a box, you're about to start an exercise program, you're going for a run, and you have three or even four of your team members, of your core, not working, your multifidus, this back muscle, is going to take up the slack, and this is where a lot of times we get a hurt back, is from not being able to coordinate the strength of these muscles. So, uh, in this diagram here, we have a side view. So your diaphragm, think of it as like a parachute, okay, this is the breathing muscle right here, so you work it by breathing. If you're breathing, it's working. Your transverse abdominis, the one right here, I've drawn three lines to signify that there's three layers to this front abdominal section. This outer layer is the one that we see, and when someone's very, very lean, you can see that six-pack muscle uh, for kind of the unofficial term of what that muscle is. When, when we're talking about the core, we're talking about the third innermost layer to the abdominal wall right in front. That's the core. The muscles of the six-pack, the crunching muscles, are not the core. That's not, not, not the core. It's this transverse abdominis. So that's in front. The pelvic floor muscles, I have three lines down here because there's three layers to that. The first layer we don't concern ourselves with too much. We don't have conscious control over it, but the bottom two we do. Okay? So transverse abdominis, that is activated whenever you take your belly button and you pull your belly button in. So pull the belly button in, you've contracted that third innermost layer pelvic floor, I've, I've drawn it in such a way, just like the diaphragm, I've drawn it in such a way to give you a visual. It's like a hammock that's falling down. It's the thickness of your hand. So there's quite a bit of muscle down there. We want to lift, lift the pelvic floor. Okay? So when you're breathing correctly, when you're pulling in your belly button and lifting your pelvic floor, you have activated your core. Now this back muscle is not going to get overworked, or I should say there's a, a very uh, little chance it will be overworked because these are working correctly. So now we've activated the core. So real quick, here is a front view. Okay, so this represents the belly button, and uh, the reason I like to go through a front view is I want to describe something to you real quick that um, typically women uh, either talk about or, or complain about, uh, but men too. But when you hear uh, someone say, I have a little pooch belly, meaning my abdominals here from the belly button up are pretty flat. But right down here, it kind of pooches out a little bit. What's that all about? Uh, is that a body fat issue? What's the deal? In this abdominal wall in the front, anything belly button and above, we are going to consider the upper abdominals anything from belly button below, we're going to consider the lower abdominals. So what that means is when you have 
a flat stomach from belly button up and not on belly button down, your lower abdominals are not firing. Okay? So you absolutely have some work to do with this transverse abdominus, with this front muscle, but keep in mind, not just this guy, but this guy down here and this guy up here. So all that means, it's, um, yes, you can, you can go the body fat route and try to decrease body fat. Um, I'm going to tell you though, there's probably a 9 out of 10 chance that if you're experiencing that, if there's flatness up here, but not here, it's more than likely not body fat because you would have it more generalized and kind of everywhere. Um, the fact that you see it right below the belly button is the lower abdominal, okay? So, um, real quick before I end this video, just keep in mind the importance of why we talked about what you eat. So, this is going to represent your stomach right here, okay? So, as I eat some food, okay, it's sitting in here in my stomach, in my uh, small intestine, if this food does not agree with me, okay, it's going to cause inflammation. Okay? It's going to inflame, actually increase the size of the stomach and the small intestine. Think of this um, stomach and small intestine like a balloon. What happens when there's inflammation? It's pushing out and it's going to push out the wall of your abdomen right here. So to the degree that this gets inflamed, and depending on how long it's inflamed, it is virtually impossible to take your transverse abdominus, this outer layer, and keep it, pull that belly button in tight if you have so much pressure internally pushing out. Okay, you're fighting a very tough battle to keep the stomach pulled in tight. And that's why it's so important that we do not eat foods that inflame the stomach, because remember, this is a, a, a five-man team. Once this guy gets turned off and he's not able to fire, what happens to this guy? What happens to this guy? And then who takes a lot of the work? This guy right here, your back muscle, and he goes, no, nope, that's not, <laughs> I was about to draw a happy face. <laughs> he goes, boo, I don't like that. So anyways, uh, that's just a, a, a real quick explanation of the core. Remember. Diaphragm, just breathe. Transverse abdominus, pull in. And pelvic floor, lift that hammock. And you have essentially got your core working. Once you can do that, lying on your back, standing, no movement, then you can start doing it with different bits of movement. And if you can continue to breathe, pull in, and lift, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.